Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start the video. Before that, uh, I request everyone to please watch the video till the end because if you miss any uh, any part of the video, you can miss the content also. So the programming is also require very clear attention of you. So don't skip the video and watch full video. So the first code. Uh, this is week 4 programming assignment of programming in java i have also made video on quiz assessment you can also go through that so let's see the first code uh, we should import the correct package according to the given uh, program here so i will show you the code uh, i will show you the code on the notepad this is the one so please uh, pass the video here itself and note it down guys many people are asking that uh, to give the code in the description or in the pdf form actually uh, we are getting the code for granted so we are not going to write our own program but at least what should we do is to write the code by seeing on our own so that when you get some errors and you can once again refer back what you have written then you get to know what type of errors it is uh, we are getting and we can correct it so that we will come to know different type of errors that exist in java so that will be useful to you only so i am not giving that and these are not many paged questions these are simple questions i mean very simple code so you can note that i am not giving many lines of code uh, it is just below 20 lines or just below 15 lines so this is just three lines only so you can neatly copy that don't forget to mention clear detail also because every detail is very important and may cause you the error so follow the exact characters what i have used here so now i am going to show you the execution sorry uh, I am going to copy this and paste it here. So now let's click on compile and run button. So if you see here, the compilation is passed and one by one test case is also passed. Here the status is also showing passed after ignoring presentation error. Presentation error is nothing but the extra slash n that is coming here. So it is not an error. It is just a presentation fault. But no need. It is correct only. So you can ignore that. So status is passed. So next moving on to second code. Before that we will submit this to test private test cases. So the private test case is also passed. So let's go to second program. So in the second program, we have to complete the code segment to print the current year. So they gave some comments here. I am going to erase all that because for the clear understanding of for you. So I am taking some space and I am going to paste this code here. So I will show you the second question code now. So this is the second question code. Guys, here this is a uh, capital C and this is small c. Uh, many people are getting confused and replacing those uh, small with capital letters, so you are getting errors. So please uh, observe that here I is capital, get instance. So this is the code, copy this. You can pass the video here itself and you can note it down or take a screenshot guys please write code on yourself because you can get to know the what type of errors you are getting and what are the solutions for that at least we can find out the error instead of writing a program on our own at least we can do that So I have pasted it here. This is the code I have pasted for second question. So let's click on compile and run button to test whether they pass or not. 
so the status is passed after ignoring presentation error i have already told you we can ignore that presentation error it is not a fault we have to only see whether it is passed or not so it is passed let's click on submit button to test private test cases so if you see that the private test case only one is exist that is also passed let's go to third one so this is third programming assignment guys here they have given a code first of all erase all this code to avoid confusion so i have made it uh, clear so i will show you the code now this is somewhat bigger than the first two this is second question code and let's see third one so here it is this is the third question code here it is capital l and the print print is, here is capital p many are uh, typing small p and they are getting errors and they are asking me in the comment section so guys please clearly observe each and every character everything is important here and here in print ln it is small p when we use super method it is capital p i mean when you use the print method separately use capital p and when you use uh, system dot out dot print ln in that the p is small one please note that difference so copy this i hope you have copied that and i am going to execute this so i am pasting it here guys there are small changes for the original code they have given but if you try you will get many errors because i also get some errors so instead of that you can clear all the given program and you can type retype all the program it is better because it just cost 5 minutes of time there is nothing to lose in this 5 minutes so better to type it so if you see this the status is passed after ignoring presentation error uh, no worry for that and click on submit button for private test case so the private test case also passed so let's go to fourth uh, programming assignment so this is fourth programming assignment and it is to call the default method in the interface so first of all clear the comment so i will take some space so this is third code i will show you the fourth one now so just two lines of code only copy that guys here capital s it is not small s it is capital s and in super it is small not capital you have to uh, observe these changes not just copying we have to understand also so i am going to copy this and paste it here so let's check for compilation so if you see this it is passed after ignoring presentation error so it is passed only there is no worry regarding presentation error it is just uh, a presentation mistake it means flash n is printed uh, but we should not print that but it is uh, not a harmful error so we can ignore that they are uh, they are only saying that ignore that so we can ignore and click on submit button here we will get exact answer so here the test case is passed it means our solution is correct and moving on to final programming question that is fifth one so this is the fifth program so we have to print the out following output first of all clear all this uh, given code we can also make changes and make it run but we will get different uh, type of errors so just clear that it is better to clear the given code and type what i have given so this is fifth question code so from here to here copy this code guys here in shape it is capital s and this is capital x and in print statement it is small p not capital p and many of you are making mistakes in here only uh, many are typing small s but it is capital s so hope you have noted it down 
now I am going to execute this so first of all I am pasting the code here so let's run it so here you can get the compilation is passed exactly passed let's see the submit submission whether the private test case passed or not so you can see the private test case is also passed so friends hope this video is helpful for you these are the solutions if you feel the same uh, you can subscribe our channel like this video and also and also share to your uh, friends so for further more videos keep supporting our channel i have also uploaded quiz assignment solutions so go through that so until next video thank you goodbye